So here's the dilemma. Got a work vehicle, a lot of tools in it. Problem is my windows aren't tinted, so any crackhead could come over here, do a smash and grab, take all my shit. And that's what we're gonna try to prevent today. But with the high cost of window tint now, it is the difficulty doing itself, doing it yourself, is there an easier way to do this? So I'm try busting a myth. VHT nightshade. Yes, it'll work on lights, but will it work on tinting your windows? Stay tuned, find out next. Project dumb? I would say yes. But today, sometimes you just gotta break a couple eggs to make an omelet, figure out whether this will be uh, if this will work or not, and hopefully save somebody a couple bucks either avoiding it or save somebody a couple bucks on doing it. Yes, it might look like trash, but for what we need it for today, for the security we're gonna gain just by hiding everything in the vehicle, that's all we're using it for. So don't expect professional results here. Hell, I don't even know how it's gonna turn out, but. We'll uh, get to doing it. First up, we're going to start, as you can see, I already started masking. We're going to mask this a little bit better, and we're going to go ahead and try spraying our nightshade on top of that. Alright, moment of truth. We are going to mask up. We're going to get ready to spray this window down. What I'm going to do is we're going to be spraying. I clean up the windows with a little bit of a glass cleaner beforehand. We're gonna be spraying from one side to one side full passes. We're not gonna stop halfway because it's gonna get streaky. So do as long passes as you can. Just layer paint. And on that note, let's get it. There's coat number one and it looks like AIDS pretty drippy so we'll uh, wait a while do the other side and we'll see how it comes out when it dries out now coat number two what I learned is kind of just let this thing dry out like 30 minutes in between and it gets a lot less streakier and it dries more uh, yeah, it kind of blends out when it dries so We'll go for coat number two and we'll uh, see how many coats it takes before we're happy with it. There you guys go, it actually somewhat worked. I'm not gonna front, it does kind of look like dog shit around here, right? Around the edges, stuff like that, but it does its job. I could I can't even see in. I put three coats on the side windows, the rear one I did two coats. Uh, just because I laid it on a little bit heavy, so it looks like about limo tint. Three, uh, two coats kind of look like 20, 35 percent ish. Um, I'll show you a view from the inside. Look, it stinks in here. So it does look like shit, to be honest, on the inside, but that's not the point. The point is to do its job. And if you look through the rear window, you could still see, you could still see out really, really well. So I'm gonna let this uh, air out. And yeah, we should wrap the video right there. The question is, will nightshade tint your windows? Yes, it will. Will it do a good job of it? Depends what you think good is. If you need to black out your windows, I would recommend it. If you have a hoopty and you need tinted windows, sure. If you're gonna actually wanna do this to your BMW, go ahead and use the correct stuff. But I uh, use your own discretion here. It worked for me. It works for my needs. But yeah, if you see the humor and this kind of stuff, just don't take yourself too seriously when it comes to this, but spray painting your windows. We'll wrap that off right there. Thanks guys.